Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'd like to start this video off with a little bit of a confession and that confession is I might have spent way too much money um, at Daily Grace Co. during their $5, $10 sale. So today you're going to be seeing a haul because I spent way too much money at the Daily Grace Co. $5, $10, uh, $10 sale. So basically what I did was whenever they went and had the sale, I went ahead and picked up a lot of devotionals for not only myself, but also for me and Christopher. Christopher and I do devotionals whenever he is on the road with the military and while he's here in person. So what I did um, during that sale, I kind of took advantage of that to stock up on some devotionals for us. So I bought us each a book and um, in, those, in the sale. So... That's one section of this video. The next section is I bought stuff for Ellie's homeschool curriculum um, for whenever she's a little bit older. I could probably pull some lessons from it right now to kind of teach her the very simple lessons out of it. But I went ahead and picked up some homeschool curriculum for her. And then I also got devotional and stationary stuff for me. And I'm going to show you all, all of that today. So let's go ahead and jump into the haul. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up were these little sets of prayer cards. I picked this up for my nightstand. I thought these would be perfect to put on there for me to wake up or right before I'm going to bed to see a prayer or some scripture and just dwell on that as I am starting to lay down to rest or waking up for the day. So the topics that I picked um, out of their sets of cards were the seasons of waiting, the uh, prayers for marriage. So that's the seasons of waiting. This is the prayers for marriage and then also prayers for anxiety. Those were the topics that I've really been wanting to focus on in my prayer life. And so that's what I did. I also bought the little block so I could stand the card up and see it. So I'm excited to put that on my nightstand. The next stationary stuff that I bought, or this is the last little bit of it that I bought from the Daily Grace Come. And that is a, pen, a set of pens and then also this note um, pad thing. So basically these pens were really cute and I could not pass them up. And they say, give thanks, pray boldly, and love well. So that's what they're saying. And they're really cute colors. Those are my favorite colors, pink and maroon. And then I also picked up this little notepad. Um, this notepad is basically going to help me plan out my videos, plan out what Bible studies I want to do each day for YouTube, Instagram, all that fun stuff. So yeah, I picked that out. And I'm kind of super excited about this. The nerd in me is really excited about my stationery. Okay, so the next little thing that I'm going to show you is actually a resource. So I'm going to show it before I show all the devotionals that we got. But I kind of wanted to dive into this one because I was really excited about this. This is a resource that I know I'm not only going to use during like getting stuff ready for my content creating, but also I knew I was going to also use this in my personal study. So I was really excited for it. And this resource is the Bible handout. Now this is a rather expensive resource. I personally feel like $54 for a book is really expensive. But if you want to really get this resource, I would go get it now. I know at one point it was uh, for sale for like $34 and that's why I ended up getting it. And that was still on the expensive side, but it is a Bible resource. So kind of take that in mind that some Bible resource books can be expensive. But so far from what I used it to um, do my study on Hosea, I can definitely tell you that so far it is worth the money and I'd probably buy it at its original price if I knew what it was like. The book has all of the books of the Bible in it and it's going to give you background information about whatever book you are looking up. It kind of tells you who writes it, what time it was written, what are the main themes, and let me just show you. So obviously I was in Hosea so I'm going to show you Hosea for an example. So this is what it would look like whenever you open it up to the book, um, the book of the Bible that you are wanting to know about. So for, so for Hosea, this is the main page. It tells you what type of book. So it's prophet, it's prophetic and it's pre-exile. Hosea wrote it and it told me the time period that it might've been written in or was written in, um, depending on what book you are trying to look up in here. Um, also, it tells you the major themes of it, so the steadfast love of God, and then it gives you a main verse of the book, and then it also tells you keywords throughout that book. And then it also comes over here and, uh, and gives you an introduction to the book, which is kind of like a little bit of a summary, but also telling you what you're going to learn about within that book of the Bible. And then once you turn the page, you will get an outline, and the outline basically gives you like chapters 1 through 3, 4 through 11, and then 12 through 14, and it breaks down um, in a little summary about what those chapters are going to be like and what you're going to find in those chapters and what you're going to learn. And then 
this page on each book of the Bible is different, I have noticed. Um, but this last page that it tells you about that book will be either like a timeline or something interesting about that book. So this talks about Hesed. And you can see Hesed throughout Hosea. And it kind of talks about what that word's meaning and what we can get out of that throughout the book of Hosea. And then, like I said, it's different for other books. So let's see. So like for John Mark, it's going to talk about different Bible verses. Um, that last page and throughout each throughout this book for the books of the Bible is a little bit different, but I think it gives you really good information either way to, that you can learn about that book that you're looking up. So I was really excited for this resource. Highly recommend it now that I've kind of getting into it, and I will give you all a updated review once I have it for a little bit longer, but I can already tell you that I'm really going to love it. So yeah, next I'm going to show you what I got for Ellie. Now, realistically, I know that she's not going to be able to use that right now, this stuff right now, because she's like one and a half. But I um, will use it to maybe pull some very simple Bible lessons out for her. But also, I know that I'm putting this up for her homeschool curriculum for when she's a little bit older. Um, so let me show you what I got her. So I first got these two sets of cards. These are conversation cards. And basically, this will allow me or this will help me have a guided conversation with her over these two topics, which... I got the full armor of God, which will be really good to teach her how to protect herself spiritually against spiritual attacks. And then I also got her this sets of cards um, that talks about the gospel. So this will allow me to have some gospel conversations with her and help us get through those conversations. Then I got the, these sets of cards together um, as a bundle because they are the New and Old Testament books of the Bible sets of cards. So basically what these are... Um, they'll go through the different books of the Bible and kind of give us information and just history of it. And I thought these will be really good for her to learn, um, to help learn her book of the Bible and kind of learn what's within those books. And then the last thing I got her, this is definitely going to be for when she is older, but the last thing I got her was the Daily Truth for Kids. And this is just a little devotional that we can do when she gets older and she's able to sit down with me and kind of do a little bit of devotional time. Okay, so next I'm gonna um, tell y'all a little bit about my Bible quiet time so that way y'all can kind of get an idea of what's going on. So obviously I am a Christian content creator so that means I have to do Bible studies before I show them to y'all or um, put them out there. Um, so I do, that's one study that I do. I do a personal study for myself because I've always felt like I needed to kind of fill myself up with the, um, scripture and just studying and being with God before I can do it with anybody else. So I reserve some time for me to just do a Bible study in the morning just meant for me. And then Christopher and I also do a Bible study together. That way we can kind of um, have that into those intimate conversations about God together. So I do mainly three studies, realistically sometimes four between church and other things. Um, so saying that, I kind of bought um, devotionals for myself for just my personal Bible time. And then I also got with Christopher and we picked out some uh, bundles that they had on their website um, for our personal Bible study. So saying that, you're going to see kind of two different groups going on. And that's why, because I kind of have several aspects to my Bible quiet time. So, yeah. Okay, so diving into my personal Bible studies that I picked out for myself, I'm going to show you all the ones that I picked out, and it's quite a bit. Um, so obviously, I know that I'm not going to be going through this like within a week. Um, I actually came into buying this stuff knowing that I was buying it for like throughout this next year, and that's completely okay with me because the Lord may be speaking to me by doing these different studies or have a time or a period for me to do them. So... I'm going to first show you the two uh, things that I am currently studying in and marking up. And that is the Gospel-Centered uh, Motherhood book and the Praying Scripture for Motherhood. Now, these go to hand in hand, once again, a bundle that they do. Um, what I like about this um, so far is it's short and sweet, and which is perfect for moms. And I'm going to do a review on these studies as I'm getting through them to kind of show y'all what's going on with them. But to get the gist of what the book looks like, this, um, it gives you like a little bit of a picture. And then it gives you a quote at the beginning of the chapter that um, kind of relates to the chapter or the theme of the chapter that you're going to study about. Then it gives you the, obviously the devotional. And it's short and sweet. And then it gives you some prayers to kind of, or scriptures to look at and just kind of pray over and dwell in. And then also it gives you a question to kind of do your little devotional and answer, which I covered up mine um, because it's kind of personal. 
And then also in here, it kind of does the same thing, just a little bit different. It's more of a journal. So what it's going to do is it's going to give you a um, passage of scripture. And then it also gives you a little bit of commentary. And then you can pray this guy to prayer. Or you can flip over and it gives you questions to answer. And then write a prayer out right here, which I have blocked my personal um, prayer that I put there for that day. And so, yeah, that's what these look like. So I picked that, that bundle up. And then I was going to do this book with those two, but I decided not to. So I don't know when I'm going to do this one. But this is Hymns for a Mother's Heart. And this looks really interesting to me because basically it gives you a hymn and then it gives you a prayer. And usually that hymn kind of goes hand in hand with the um, devotional that they have for that day. And it pertains to motherhood. And then it also gives you a little bit of a prayer to pray or to think of or it gives you a section to think about what you want to pray and then it gives you a section to write notes and your prayer down so i was going to do that with these two motherhood books but i decided not to but i will eventually get to this i just thought it was different that they did like a hymn a devotional and then gave you scripture to kind of pray over and dwell on and dwell is my word for this video i don't know why um, the next set or bundle that you could say that i got for myself is the um, scripture for anxiety and I really need this in my life. At times, I really go through seasons where I'm having a lot of anxiety. And then there's other seasons where I'm not. And I just thought this would really be helpful for whenever I'm having a season of anxiety. So, basically, same thing. This book is called It Is Well, Walking Away From Anxiety Into God's Word. So, it's going to be a study about um, anxiety and what God's Word has for that and how to combat that. So what I like about these studies, the bigger books, is that it's not necessarily da daily, it's more weekly. I'll probably do it each day because I'm a stay-at-home mom, but that that's hearsay. You could do it however you want. So for like week one, it'll give you a little um, devotional and then a little Bible verse up here. You flip the page and it get, it's a little bit more of the devotional. And then you have questions to answer and then you can put that week's devotional in um into like your daily life and start practicing whatever it tells you to do and then i also picked up the journal aspect part of this because i really wanted to really grasp this top topic and so basically what this does it gives you a um, bible verse and then a prayer and then you can reflect on that so i thought these would be good to go hand in hand for my own personal study considering I suffer from anxiety at different seasons of my life. So that just leaves me with three other books that I picked up um, just for myself. And the next study that I picked up was Colossians Rooted in Him. Colossians has been really speaking to me, um, if you cannot tell, on my other um, Bible studies. So Colossians really just drew me to that. Um, basically, it's the same thing. So for this one is a little bit different than the anxiety one. This one actually gives you um, weeks and then it gives you like five days out of the week to do the um, devotional. So I say that five days, it could be seven days. I haven't looked to be honest, but it basically gives you like, for an example, this is week one, day one, and it gives you the devotional. And then you have some um, little questions to fill out and to write on. And then it goes into week one, day two, if you get the gist of it, these books. So I got that one in Colossians, Rooted in Him. And then I got the Attributes of God. And it's the same setup as Colossians, where it's just like week one, day one, week one, day two. That type of thing, devotional and questions. The last thing that I got for myself was this one on sharing our faith. I thought this would be perfect for me considering I content create. And I just want to be able to get the message of the gospel out a little bit more clear. So that's why I picked this one. Um, it's the same setup, week one, day one, and then you also go through the questions as you go through the devotional for that day. So yeah, okay, so the last little bit of this haul is gonna be um, with the studies that Christopher and I got together. And it's quite a bit, it looks like quite a bit, but honestly, we bought the bundles, so we have two um, books for each topic, so it's not really a lot. Um, it just looks like a lot. So the first set that we got or bundle, I shall say, is going to be their Better Together, um, a guide for discipleship. And I went ahead and picked up, you know, the bundle of books um, that go together. So one will be his and the other will be mine. And then I also picked up the Better Together 
journal and this I will have to just send him pictures of and have him send me his like journal entry and I'll write it down in that book um, because I did not feel like buying two of those. Um, so yeah, the next set that we got was come and see a study of the Gospel of John. I'm really excited for this. I think this is where we might start. Now, I have heard, I can't say because we haven't started these. I have heard that really the only difference between this one and this one is the um, pictures in it is more manly. Um, but I don't know. And I personally, I don't want to say I don't care because if we were in person, I would just get one devotional. But because he is kind of gone and long distance from us, I am kind of glad that they made a bundle like this at a fairly, a fairly cheap price because um, that kind of helps a sister out so that way we can both have our own books and be able to write in them. So that is the um, second set that we got. The third set we got was Fighting with Faith and this is a study on the book of Philippians. Once again, we got the set. It's the same thing, like the same setup as far as like a devotional um, questions and so forth. Once again, cannot tell you if it's the difference between the two books is pictures or if the questions are kind of more centered towards a man and a husband role. I don't, I can't tell you that yet, but if you'd like me to, I can do a review on these as we get into them, which I'll probably will do anyways, because I want to be able to share whether or not we like them or what you can get out of those devotionals. So maybe you can check my video out and then go buy it um, versus just going and buying and maybe wasting your money because it didn't say any, it didn't speak to you or it really just didn't did not line up with your beliefs or whatever so the next set we got was even if a study on Habakkuk Habakkuk I think I said that right I personally cannot pronounce biblical names when it gets to the crazy um names like that but I bought this for my mom and I was going to do it for myself um but I ended up giving it to her um so I kind of have sneak peeked this one but I don't remember everything in it so i'm really excited for this and that's what those two look like so the last set that we picked up was um these two and it was on the book of james the steadfast life and personally i'm kind of not prepared for this one because the book of james really has you reflecting on who you are and how you act and how you should be acting so i don't know if i'm fully ready for that but we did get that set because that was something we were interested in. Okay, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that you found something that you might be interested in picking up yourself. Um, stay tuned for reviews on these books. And yeah, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video.